Hey, it's Alex from Attack Pack. Uh, I'm going to give you a rundown on the integrated load carriage system that we developed, uh, specifically an enhancement for soldiers. However, it's also perfect for backcountry users, hunters, um, optimum weight distribution through better ergonomics, eliminating all the parasitic and redundant weight that you don't need, um, and then a complete customization that you can do for yourself. Really, the genius is in the simplicity. It's a belt that just has a frame, drops right into a pocket on the back of the belt, transfers all of the weight, makes it easy to quick ditch, gets all the, cent the uh, weight of your backpack close to your center of gravity. It's got ventilation channels for sending heat away from your body. 100% the best solution for the future. A huge advancement over what is currently available. What we're looking at here is the standard issue uh, SOCOM backpack system with the uh, Mystery Ranch nice frame to it. What you immediately see on here is the waist belt on the backpack cuts across the gun, making it difficult to access. It's also going right over the magazine pouches, keeping you from getting easy access to the mags. And then the first aid kit on the back is also difficult. Um, pressure on your back getting pushed in from the backpack the way it is. The result, guys don't wear the belt. They take the belt off make it so that they have access. They tie the waist belt to the back. Now you're carrying parasitic weight of the waist belt and the backpack frame because nothing is being transferred to your waist. You don't need the waist belt. It's like carrying rocks to a gunfight. Transfers all the weight now to your shoulders instead of to your hips. That is good until you have the sternum strap that's gonna be in the way. So we don't use the sternum strap and the first thing you see is the shoulder straps from the backpack start sliding into your shoulders, cutting into the nerves and the blood supply to your fingers, making everything numb and tingly so that you have a harder time shooting. On this side, you'd notice there's quite a bit of standoff from the backpack and the body armor caused by the bolsters, which throws the weight back further behind you, making you have to compensate more by leaning forward until you finally are off balance and just sort of there so when you're walking and moving, you end up stumbling and hurting your knees or, or twisting an ankle. If you look at this uh, entire system, you would ask, why is that being fielded that way? There's got to be a better way. So Attack Pack has re-envisioned how the soldier should ergonomically carry the weight with the optimum weight distribution to your waist, taking the weight off your shoulders and spine to prevent injuries and making it so that the fatigue is lower while you're in the field. I'm going to show you the attack pack system now. The foundation of the integrated load carriage system is the waist belt that acts as your gun belt as well as your backpack belt. The way that it does that is that it's got a slot in the back that the frame slides into from the backpack or the body armor. And then it, that is also attached to an H harness where you are able to um, decrease the pressure on your shoulders or increase the pressure on the shoulders while you're on the move. So you can move around the weight distribution to get optimum weight distribution. The uh, result of having the frame inside the body armor is that there's no stress and strain on your shoulders. And when you layer a backpack over the top of it, it actually pushes down on that frame, transferring all the weight of the backpack to the waist. You also notice that there is no interference with the gun belt, the magazines, or the IFAC. When you layer a backpack over the top of this, the weight of the backpack is transferred down through the frame to the waist belt. You'll notice the standoff between the backpack and the body armor is now zero. That three inches is eliminated, bringing everything, all the weight closer to your center of gravity, making it easier to balance. Look at the front of the system, and the shoulder strap is integrated with the body armor, helping to take some of the weight of the body armor off, as well as keeping the shoulder strap from falling into your shoulder crux. The second way to wear this system is with the frame in the backpack, no frame inside the body armor. When you put the backpack on over the top, you'll notice we're at zero standoff between the backpack and the body armor, keeping the center of gravity where it should be over your, over your center of mass. If that frame was inside of the backpack, you'd simply put the backpack on you would have zero standoff between you and the backpack. You need to get out of it quickly, 
click out the shoulder straps, backpack falls off. You can also wear the backpack directly over the body armor as any other standard backpack with the shoulder straps attached. Uh, they're not attached to the front of the plate carrier, um, but they would do the same thing as far as keeping the shoulder straps where it needs to be closer to your center. All the weight is transferred to your waist. There is no interference with the IFAC. And the integrated load carriage system is really an advancement beyond what else is available on the market.